Sorry, do you have the time? Yeah, your last name. Date of birth. You're late. Yeah, you're late. Put the time in the comments below because you're late. I um already have your diagnosis from your previous uh, visit. But I'm gonna need to take a further look at you. You've been having this weird like body mass expansion thing that I'm gonna need to take a look at. I'm thinking it's because of astigmatism in your eye. I wanna just take a look at your eyes. But anyway, did you want me to read the diagnosis or did you wanna just Don't share this diagnosis with anybody. Don't even put it in the comments below unless you want to. Oh yeah, I would definitely put this in the comments below. It's gonna be a tough one to share with the fam. Anyway, let's get into it. I'll leave this at the front for you to check out. Yeah, we're not supposed to send that information via mail. But, um, you understand. Let me have a look at you. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Um, Joey, can you bring me my, uh, set? Thank you. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Thank you, Joey. What is that? I don't need that. I only did this. Okay. an air pumper. It's going to dry out your eyes so that when I put the gloves on and stuff, it's not going to bother you. Good. Perfect. She's going to do a little bit of this adhesive. It's to uh, prevent you from feeling any of the uh, acidic properties. You may feel a slight distinct and burning. That's probably the bleach. I threw a little bit in here just to make sure it was sanitized and clean for you. Okay, now I'm just gonna throw some of this on your eyes. It's to help with the um flavor. licensed in this they don't just hand out eye doctor licenses to become an eye doctor with a big booty and a great personality.com they don't just hand out eye doctor degrees you know phds over there anyways let's get these gloves on oh, these ones are used i have a limit for how many times i use some gloves Once they hit three, it's a no for me. It's about that time. Your annual high examination. What you would like for reminders. You're alone. I already told you it's gonna be abrasive. You're gonna need to take medication the night before, and if you didn't, don't look. Something about your eyes. I just want to get a real good look at them, okay?
looking perfect. all the way in the sky. if that happens. I'm going to attempt to take a closer look by removing your eyelid. If I remove your eyelid with this, it's a shaver. It's going to uh, not tear your eyelid off completely. Just kind of shred it up like a paper shredder, but an eyelid shredder. Didn't you tell me? I thought you were just a delusional homeless person. This is gonna be intense. Get ready, push. Push. When you start feeling those contractions, we're gonna need you to push. You can warm my associate in the back. You know what? This is a perfect excuse to use the eye grabber. The head is small enough that I might be able to grab it with this eye grabber. It's gonna be very quick. So just hold still. Push. Uh, uh, I might need some forceps. Push. Can't get a good grip on it. Push. This is too intense. I need some backup. Up in here, room 3B. <sighs> this thing is coming and it's coming now. You know what's generous? Because I'm only seeing ahead right now, and as far as I know, bro, all kinds of babies are balking. Might as well just be small old people. But, anyways, hold still. Checking the dilation. Massive forehead out. Takes after you. Come on now. Eyelids. Head. Nose. Chin. Okay. That head is out. This is where it's going. Push. 
Oh yeah, we'll push Joey out. Save Joey. Push. I see it. Go, go, go. Push. Here it comes. and helping your eye and helping you see because it's just an eye examination I'm trying to improve your vision okay interesting interesting let me just go ahead and have my assistant come out here to assist here That's perfect, yes. You can do the honor. Go in hell. That's good. That's real good, real nice. Yeah, perfect. Ten, ten, ten out of ten. Yes. Okay, well, um, since you've kind of done that, I'll go ahead and do the next step. that people need to be doing more often. If you're not combing your eyelid, your eye health is going to decrease over time. People don't know this. So if you're not an avid eyelid comber, things are just not gonna go good for you and your vision. People think carrots are the key. It's not carrots, it's eyelid combing. So when's the last time you combed your eyelids? That's what I thought. I can tell. Mm -hmm. Just hold still. 
you're doing great, but I'm gonna have to get in there. Okay, that's good. So, how do you feel so far? Okay, I'm gonna have to write you a prescription. Yeah. You said um, you've been struggling with this for how long? Now I'm gonna need to increase the dosage. Have you been struggling with anything like depression or anxiety? Um, you know, excessive sadness, uh, lack of joy lately that you need to address? If you've been feeling like emotionally stunted, career stunted, mentally stunted, just being constantly surrounded by idiots and plebeians. I feel similarly. Are you seeing anybody? Are you married? Are you committed? Anything like that? Oh, committed to a mental institution back in the day? That's not surprising, seeing how you um, carry yourself. I'm just gonna have to note that for the chart for the record. Can you tell me, do you have any experience with um, any sort of illegal activities, any weapons of sort, any um, harm to yourself or others, any crazy tactics or anything like that? Do you have any military experience? Family in the military. Would you say you're a bit nomadic? Would you say you move around a lot? Or you're more like a, you're like a dead home, you're a homebody, you've stayed still. And this could be, you know, military parents traveling a lot, traveling for work. This could be just having to move for better opportunities. Okay, because I was a stare. Do you have any siblings? Do you desire for children? More children? How many children total? Yeah, I don't know about your psych evaluation or how that would pan out with you having children, but we'll look into it in the ward. Um, how about you just tell me what is your last vision assessment uh, before you came to me? Was it 2020 vision, 2019 vision? How were your eyes working? Scale of one to ten, how sexy are you? Be honest. Yeah, I was thinking a ten too. Pickles be sexy. Okay. Can I just have you tell me what's the last time you had a birthday? Okay. When's the last time you were able to have a full uh, liter of water? A liter of water. You know the thing you usually drink soda or juice. How much water have you had? Mm. Water intake is low. Sorry, these questions may seem abrasive and personal, but I'm just having to ask them so that I can make sure that I diagnose you with the proper medication. If I don't ask these questions, you could have medication that gives you terrible, terrible side effects, as opposed to the horrible, horrible side effects. So just relax and let me. Would you uh, categorize your hair as short, long, or medium in between? Okay, what's your favorite trigger for tinkles? What's your favorite trigger? Put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Can I have your last name spelled out? Slow. You and lastly, have you ever had a pet? And what is that pet's name? And if you had multiple pets, the favorite, you all have a favorite. 
mine's favorite was Goldie. I mean, I have Chevy right now. Don't tell him, but I used to have a mouse named Goldie. Guess what color it was? Gold. So, yeah, we'll hide. Good, 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 good. Well, this looks perfect. I can just submit this information into the system. And I'll go ahead and shoot up the medication I need to get you. The prescription. Just a formality so that the system only pulls up your records. Last for the social. Okay. Um, I'm in. I'd just like for you to tell me uh, do you have any allergies to medications that you're aware of? Good. Okay. And a preferred pharmacy. Can you give me the streets? Okay, good. I will have that sent over to that pharmacy and put a note that you have the insurance card on hand and you'll send that in when you have some time. Okay, good. So, thank you. Okay, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, and the test came back positive on this. 